This is exactly how to connect one board to another board inside of Monday.com and mirror over data from one board to another board in Monday.com. By the way, if you'd like us to help you set up Monday.com for your business, check out the link below. We would love to help. Anyway, as you can see here, I'm inside of my example Monday.com system. On the left-hand side, I have two boards. I have my projects board and I have my phases board. Every phase or every project has multiple phases. And I want to be able to connect my phases to my projects so I'm able to see all of the phases associated with the project. And also, I want to be able to pull information from my projects down to my phases, such as my project files here. This is very, very easy to do. So first and foremost, what we want to do is press the plus button on either board. It can be on the projects board or the phases board or whichever board that you are looking to connect. OK, and we can go ahead and what we want to do is search for the connect board column. This is what's going to allow us to connect our projects board to our phases board. And we can go ahead and press select boards. OK, this is where we make our selection. In this instance, what we want to do is connect our projects board to our phases board. What's really important to note here is a create a two way connection option. You want to make sure that that is ticked. What that essentially means is if you do not have the create two way connection ticked, you'll be able to connect a project to a phase, but you won't be able to connect a phase to a project, i.e. you won't be able to see that there's a connection between the project and the phase on the phases board or whichever board that you're creating this connection column <laughs> from. Confusing, right? And needless to say, I would typically always recommend just create a two-way connection and then go ahead and press connect boards. Congratulations, you've now created your projects to your phases. If I head over to my phases board, you'll clearly see that there is now a connection between my projects and my phases on the other side as well. In this instance, it's gonna be a project singular and then on the projects, it's gonna be phases plural, multiple phases associated with one particular project. So now what I can do is I can click in and I can see here, I've got all of my different phases. I can connect item one, item two, and item three to my project. And if we go to my phase, I can see that all three of these phases named item one, two, and three are associated with that particular project, project one, phase one. Excuse the naming convention. This is from a prior video that I was doing. But essentially you would have, let's just hypothetically set this up. We would have phase one, we would have phase two, and then we would have phase three. And then on the project board, we would literally just call it project number one. Hit enter. So now I can see all of my phases for that particular project. Now, the next thing that I'm going to look to do is I want to have the project files show on each of my phases. So when I'm working on the phases board, as opposed to having to go and find on the project, the project files, it's just readily available here. So what I can do is press add column. And then this time we're looking for a mirror column. And what we are doing is we are mirroring data from our projects board to our phases board. To do so, we need to connect our mirror column to our connection column that we've just created moments ago. So you can see here, the only connection column on this board is the project connection column. Select that option. And then you will magically see here, all of the columns on the projects board are now available to mirror. And the one that we want to mirror is the files. So now I've got my project files and hit enter. And as you can see, there are no files associated with this project. If I now go to my projects board and let's just add an example file from a link and let's just put www.crmcrew.com, which is the website you would need to go to, by the way, if you would like us to help you set up Monday.com for your business example uh, file. I don't know if this is going to work or not. It might have to be like HTTPS. So there we go. We've got HTTPS Monday.com. And then this, like I said, the website you need to go to if you'd like us to help you set up Monday.com. So now you can see that there's a file. It's not actually a file. You can see that there's an example file associated with this particular project. If I then go to my phases, that is then mirrored down to all of my phases. Now you can also mirror the other way. So we've mirrored from our projects to our phases, but I actually want to mirror from our phases to our projects. I want to mirror over the status of all of my phases associated with this particular project. As you can see, I've got phase two, which is completed. Let's just say that phase three is active. And then we've got phase one, which is upcoming as an example. I mean, typically it'd be the other way around, but you get the idea. So I go to my projects board. I can go ahead and press the plus button again. We're going to go ahead and create another mirror column. And this time we're mirroring the other way. So we mirror from our phases and you'll notice that you can mirror up from your sub items. I'll come on to what that looks like in a moment's time. We'll go here and select phases. And then on our phases, we can go ahead and mirror up the status. So now I can see the phase status 
for all of my phases. So you can see I've got phase one, phase two, and phase three, and the color of each of those phases. So if I then go to phase three, as you can see, it's purple at the moment, and I'll change phase three to the status completed, which will then move that down here. Doesn't matter about groupings, just a color. You can see that that then updates. What we can also do is add another mirror column if you wanted to. You can have multiple mirror columns or as many mirror columns as you want associated with a connection column. And then we can go ahead and mirror the timeline. And this timeline column takes into consideration all, so timeline phases, all of the timelines for each of the phases combined into one. So you can then click in here and you can see this is the 6th to the 13th, but this actually shows to the 6th to the 10th because the start is a 6th and the end is the 10th for, th for phrase 3. So you can see how it spans across all of them. Hopefully that makes sense. Now, you can also create a connection between multiple boards. So I'm going to go ahead and create another example board. And this is just a very basic, I'm not going to do anything to this board. But what I want to show you is that you can connect using one connection column to multiple boards here. So I can press the three dotted button, go to settings, customize my connection column, and I can connect more boards. And I'm going to go ahead and connect to our example board as well. So I'm going to go ahead and press connect boards. So now when I go ahead and press and I'll just move that. But when I go ahead and press the plus button, you'll see at the top here, I've got a drop down menu and I can select which board I am going to connect from. And you can see here on my example board, which I just created, I can also select item one and item two. So now I've got in total five connections. However, it's from two different boards. What I can then do with my mirror columns, if I wanted to, is go to settings, customize the mirror. And you'll see here that we've got a phases column. So what column are we mirroring from our phases board? And then what column are we mirroring from our example board? And you can see we can select all labels or just what's done. So I can change this from my example board to another column. This is exactly the same for our timeline mirror as well. You can see we've got on the phases, we've got the timeline. On the example board, we could mirror the date. So you can see how that then changes as well. It does make things a little bit awkward or interesting. So just be mindful of how you co uh, combat that or at least set it up. But you can see now on our example board, we also have a link to projects. So both the phases, or let's just say singular, both the phases and the example board both roll up to our projects board. And you can then mess around with the mirror columns to mirror over data from the example board and mirror over data from the phases board onto the projects board and vice versa. Obviously, because there's a connection between the projects and the example board, I can mirror data from the projects board down to my example board. So I can go ahead and add a mirror column. And let's say, again, just as an example, I want to mirror down, let's say in this instance, the person, so the project owner, so now from my example board, I'm able to see the project owner for project one. If I then go to project one and I change the owner to Alex, go back to my example board, I can see that Alex or at least added Alex, I can see both myself and Alex are associated with this project and it's mirrored down from the projects to the example board. Now, the final thing that I want to show you is connection or mirror columns from your sub items. So in case you're not familiar with how sub items work within monday.com, essentially they are associated with an item. And let's just imagine they're like task number one, task number two, multiple tasks associated with a particular project or a phase. I can then mirror up data from my sub items onto my main item. I've got two ways that I can do this. Either I can go ahead and press plus and then search for a mirror column. Mirror, mirror, there we go. And then I can mirror up. So I can go ahead, press connect, and then connect to my sub items. This is just a standard thing, it will always be visible. And then I can roll up data from my sub items onto my main item. So let's say I want to roll up the status. And then I change this to sub item status and hit enter. And then let's just reposition this over here. And then I change the status to of task one to aa and let's say i then collapse my sub items i can then very quickly see all of the sub items associated with this particular project let's just say project three and the sub item status i can then open them up again and obviously see that information but if you've got lots of sub items with lots of different projects or whatever however you're managing this then this is very very helpful Alternatively, if you don't want to add the mirror column, you can go ahead and just press the three dotted button and go show summary on parent item. This is exactly the same. 
you are it's the same thing it's creating a mirror column um it's just a slightly different naming convention so if i set that as the 21st and let's set that as the 29th you can see how it's 21st to 29th and again if i collapse that we'll be able to see the sub item data as well so that is literally everything as far as i'm aware that you need to know about connection columns and mirror columns inside of monday.com Hopefully this video has been helpful. If you've got any questions, queries, concerns, requests, drop a comment below. If it's a good question, I will make a video answering your question. And if you'd like us to help you set up monday.com for your business, check out the link below in the description. Book a call. Have a chat with me. We would love to help. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully this video was somewhat helpful and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.